Hi, in this video we'll practice spacing the font characters with font arc, which is one of the very basics of movable type. There are many methods to space a font, but we will apply a basic one. The basic method is about applying spacing to three basic features of the font, straight, round, and diagonals. And the master rule of spacing is that the white inside the character should be optically equal to the space between the characters. Okay, right now we can see how it works with the HOV. We see that there is a giant space between the O and V. And we better figure out what the space of the A should be. We can see it is too thin. The space of the O is a bit too much. And the V is far too much. The space I will, we will set to the H will go to all the straight sides. The space we will apply to the O will go to all the rounds. And for the diagonal, we'll give the minimum spacing. And anything in between, like the U, which is partly straight and partly round, we'll give something in between. Uh, okay, I'll do it just to show you the principle. Spacing in font arc is measured from the center line. Okay, and I use the grid which is here, and snap to grid for a basic spacing, it's more than enough. Just make sure the snap to grid is turned on. I will give five squares, which is 100 unit, front arc units, to the right and to the left of the H, which is straight. Now, I'll go and do it to all the strides in my uppercase letters. I will do it to the left and to the right side. B is left, D, F, H. I needs a special treatment. L, N, N, P, O. That's it. All these have the left side straight. I'm moving it one square to the left. Now let's do to the right. Now let's do the same to all the right sides. I ha we have it in the M and that's it. Done. Now let's see the O. The O should take three squares which is almost half of the, um, oh, it's, which is exactly half. No, this is 140, oops. Okay. Uh, I'm giving the round squeeze three squares. I'll also select the C, G, and doing it to the left and to the right. O, Q, and do the same to the S. That's it one square to the left deselecting now let's take all the ones with the right that's it this, we can take this one too okay now let's treat the diagonals diagonals should receive a minimum a minimum uh, spacing. I select all the left side diagonals. Okay, let's give them 40. Okay, let's select all the right side diagonals. This is not okay. Okay, yeah, all of 
with 40 that's just C this is the 40 with Z Y ok X ok W just fine T ok now the round ones have 80 the straight ones have 100 120 and the diagonal is 40 we have 120 80 now let's see how should how much should get the straight and round 100 is pretty good for a start let's see the u is okay c c because it's very open on the left might need less but we'll check it out b is like the round also might need less everything is should everything here should be checked by i now i have to uh, let's see the p p is too much give it 60 r 80 before test it is okay now I said that uh, 120 for the strides how we should do it to the eye the eye line is from the center line which is right now at 140 I will move it okay one square to the right and one square over here ready let's check it turn to all cups in general it looks pretty okay I have to check put uh, give special attention to the S I think it is a bit too wide too spaced the S can get can receive less spacing let's see the P Okay, I leave it this way at the moment. Let's do the same to the lower case. We'll start with four to the strikes, two to the rounds, and zero to the diagonals. Okay, strikes don't need any uh, any change. Half strike, half round will receive three squares. Round two square. Let's make it to all the left side round. Okay, two squares. You select all the right side rounds, two squares, diagonals, left diagonal, sixty, forty. Okay, just making sure the J should be uh, spaced along the T and the F are fine um, all the right diagonals forty now let's check the eye the eye is a straight it should stand on the one hundred and it stand on the one hundred and forty 
two squares to the left, keep it on 100, 60 on the right, 60. Same distance to the L and we are ready to check. We will give another special attention to the C. It might need less of a spacing. Let's check it out. Looking quite good. The J needs uh, less spacing on the left. Look how beautiful all of this. This one not perfect. Okay, this is just a basic spacing system. Nothing final, it's very rough, but this will help us both practice it and get on with the design. Next stage will be optical corrections.